In this video, we are going to see hole basis system and shaft basis system. In before that, if you want to see this video in Tamil language, link in description. So kindly check it once. Before you see this video, kindly see my previously uploaded videos. Once you see that and come here, you get more knowledge on this concept. Did you know how these products are assembled in industries? And did you know which method is used in industries? So, I am your spark, let's go and watch. First we will see answer for this question. Normally, no product can be manufactured in a single place. It is manufactured in several places and assembled together in a single place. For example, in this engine, piston is manufactured in Japan and shaft is manufactured in China and this valves are manufactured in United States and this cylinder is manufactured in United Kingdom and finally, these all parts are assembled together in India and finally, they made it as engine. So, this manufactured method is used in all industries. So, during this assembly, fits are more important. For example, you can see here, if the piston diameter is greater than hole diameter, then we are not able to assemble this product. So, if we want to choose the correct fit for the product, then we have to know something, that is, hole basis system and shaft basis system. In hole basis system, the hole diameter is said to be a constant, and shaft diameter will be vary based on hole diameter. For example, you can see here, hole diameter is set as constant in all three figures but shaft diameter is varied based on our requirement then in shaft basis system the shaft diameter is set to be a constant and hole diameter will be vary based on shaft diameter for example you can see here shaft diameter is set as constant in all three figures but hole diameter is varied based on our requirement so if we want to set the hole diameter as constant then we can choose the hole basis system and if we want to set the shaft diameter as constant then we choose the shaft basis system now we are going to see what is the operation to manufacture the different diameter of the shaft so mainly two operations are used first one is turning operation by using lathe machine so here you can see the tool is used to reduce the diameter of the shaft and second one is grinding operation and here you can see the shaft diameter is reduced by using grinding tools so here we can choose any one operation to reduce the diameter of the shaft next we can see what is the operation to manufacture the different diameter of the hole so there are several operations are used first one is drilling operation by using lathe machine so here the several drill bits are used to increase the diameter of the hole but particular drill bit size only available to create the hole at that time they used boring operation so by using boring operation we can increase the size of the hole and the drilling same method are used in reaming method too in reaming method too we used several drill bits to create the hole and the same thing for broaching operation too and for checking the quality of the product for shaft we used only few tools like vernier caliper or dial caliper for checking the dimension of it but for hole we need to use several tools for checking the dimension of it for example we need to use vernier caliper and more gauges and sensors to find the different diameter of the hole and to find the different depth of the hole now we are going to see the answer for this question so in that operation we can see the shaft varying method is too easy when compared to varying the diameter of hole because if we want to create a different hole size based on shaft diameter that we need to use different tool, different operation, different machine to create the hole for our required size. It takes two time and it's longest process. But in shaft, it is too easy. We used only one tool, one machine and one operation to create the shaft for our required size. Due to these many disadvantages, we are not using this shaft basis system. So, all the industries are using whole basis system. I hope now you guys understand what is whole basis system 
and what is shaft basis system and which method is used in industries and why it is used so i will continuously upload videos on mechanical concept thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like this video so if you have any doubts kindly comment it and turn on the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe our channel